welcome to smart math online tutor through this video i'm going to tell you about lossy and constructions first of all let us look into what is lossy a set of points satisfying one or more conditions is known as a locus and remember lossy is the plural of locus first let us see the locus of a point which is at a constant distance from a fixed point. Look here. O is a fixed point and A is a point which is at a distance from O. And now we are going to find the path of A so that from wherever you take the distance from O to A, the distance will be always the same. Then what do you think is the path of A? To maintain equal distance, definitely the path of A must be a circle. So let's draw a circle like this with center O and this will be the path of a point around O maintaining an equal distance. So we can conclude the locus of a point which is at a constant distance from a fixed point is a circle. The next locus we are going to look into is the locus of a point equidistant from two fixed points. Now look here. A and B are two fixed points. Now we are going to find the path of a third point which is at equal distance from both a and B. For that, first of all, I join A and B like this. Fine. Then, remember to maintain equal distance from both A and B, the path of this point must be the perpendicular bisector of the line joining A and B. So, I draw it like this and remember it is the perpendicular bisector. So, you can mark the details like this. Thereby, you can conclude the locus of a point equidistant from two fixed points is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two points. Now, let us see what is the locus of a point which is at equidistant from a fixed line. Now, in this case, I draw a line and name it as AB. And remember, this is a fixed line. So, the path of a point which is at the equal distance from the whole line AB will be a parallel line to AB at a given distance. So, in that case, we can draw two parallel lines to AB on either sides maintaining the same distance like this. Now, remember these three lines are parallel and AB is the fixed line. The other two are the paths. Always the distance between AB and the other two lines must be the same. So, that says the locus of a point which is at equidistant from a fixed straight line is two straight lines parallel to it and at the given constant distance from it on either sides of it. The next locus we are going to pay our attention is the locus of a point equidistant from two intersecting straight lines. So, in this case, I have taken two intersecting straight lines AB and BC. The two lines are intersecting at B. Now, the path of a point which is equidistant from both AB and BC will be the bisector of the angle ABC here. So, to find the bisector, we can plot a line like this. And remember, it should be the bisector of the angle ABC and the, these two angles will be the same. And here is the path of a point equidistant from two intersecting straight lines and that is the angle bisector of the angle formed at the intersection of the two lines. Fine, all this time we have paid our attention to the locus of a given point under certain conditions. Now, through the next session, we are going to study 
how to construct these locus for that first of all let us look into the constructions related to straight lines and thereby the first type of construction we are going to study is constructing a straight line perpendicular to a given line from an external point now look at this i have taken a straight line ab and my external point i name as c now in this case we are going to drop a perpendicular to the line ab through the point c for that first of all take your compass and place the compass on c and draw an arc like this to cut the line ab at two places now you can see there are two points of intersections with the arc and the line keep the compass at one of them and draw an arc like this and move the compass to the other point of intersection of the line and the arc and draw a line to cut the first arc like this now you can see the two arcs cut one another join the point c to the point of intersection i have named as o so the line will be like this fine now this line is perpendicular to a b the next construction we are going to learn is constructing a line perpendicular to a given line through a point on the line now in this case i draw a straight line and name my straight line as a b and then i mark a point on the line as c like this now what are we going to do is we are going to draw a line perpendicular to this line a b through c for that first of all take your compass place it on the point c and draw two arcs on either sides to cut the line a b like this fine now take the compass and place on the point of intersection of the arc and the line you drew and draw an arc up and down like this move the compass to the next point of intersection of the arc and the line and draw two arcs up and down like this now you can see the two arcs up and down the line intersect one another join the point of intersection of these two arcs like this now this line you drew by joining the points of intersection of the two arcs is perpendicular to the line ab and it is through c the next part we are going to look into is constructing a line perpendicular to a given line through an end point of the line now here i draw a line and i am going to name it as x and y then i extend my line from the side of x so that it will look like this now i take my compass place on the point x and draw two arcs on either sides of the x one in my line xy and the other in the dotted side like this now i have named it as p and q and then i am going to draw an arc keeping the compass on q like this up and down and then i take my compass to the point p and draw two arcs up and down like this now you can see the two arcs we drew up and down are intersecting and now i'm going to join the point of intersections like this so now you can see the line i drew is perpendicular to xy at x the final part of constructions we are going to look into now regarding straight lines that is constructing the perpendicular bisector of a given straight line now in that case i'm going to draw a straight line and name it as a and b then i take my compass place it on a and i'm going to draw two arcs above the line ab and below the line ab like this 
right now i'm going to move my compass to the point b and cut the two arcs i have already drawn like this and this is i'm drawing from b now you can see my two arcs have intersected at two points and i'm joining the two points and there you see it is perpendicular to the line a b i'm naming that point as o so a o and o b are equal in length so that my line has bisected the line a b and formed a perpendicular as well the next section we are going to look into is constructions related to angles under this topic the first part i'm going to teach you about is how to bisect a given angle remember bisecting a given angle refers to dividing an angle into two equal angles let's get started draw any angle you like i have drawn an angle like this and i'm going to name it as a b c then take the compass keep it on the point b and draw an arc to cut the arms of the angles like this then i name the point of intersection of the arc and the line bc as x and keep the compass on the point x and draw an arc like this then without changing the length remember without changing the length move your compass to the point y and cut the arc you drew before like this the point of intersection of the two arcs i name as o and then i join the points b and o like this so that my angle abc will be bisected and the two angles i have marked as alpha are equal in magnitude the next section i'm going to tell you about is how to copy a given angle to another place now here an angle is given and i have named it as pqr first of all draw any line and name it as qp like this then take your compass keep the compass on the point q in the angle and draw an arc to cut the two arms like this then without changing the length of the compass come to the point q in the line and draw an arc like this remember you are not allowed to change the length of the compass right then take the compass to the point x and measure the length of the angle like this and draw an arc like that and bring it to the point of intersection of the arc you drew before with the line qp keep it there and draw an arc like this remember you are not allowed to change the size of the compass again and join the point q to the point of intersection of the arc and name it as r now we have done the copying so the two angles are equal in magnitude the next section we are going to see is how to construct an angle with the magnitude of 60 degrees draw any line you like and name it as ab then take your compass keep it on the point a and draw an arc like this the point of intersection of the arc and the line i name as o bring your compass to the point o without changing the previous length you took and cut it like this now the point of intersection of the two arcs i name as c and i join ac now remember this angle is equal to 60 degrees the next part i'm going to tell you about is how to construct an angle of 120 degrees again draw any line you like name it as qr bring the compass to the point q and draw an arc like this make sure that the arc is little lengthier and then name the point of intersection of the arc and the line qr as x without changing the length cut the arc like this name it as o bring the compass to the point o and draw an arc like this now remember you don't change the arc length from the beginning till the end now join the line q and p like this now you have taken an angle of 120 degrees the next section is 
how to construct an angle of 30 degrees. Already we have learnt how to construct an angle of 60 degrees. First construct an angle of 60 degrees like this and then I have named it as LMN. The two points of intersection of the arc and the two arms of the angle I name as X and Y. Keep the compass on the point X and draw an arc like this. Without changing the length, bring it to the point Y and cut the previous arc like this. Now join this point of intersection of the two arcs which I have named as O with the point M like this. So what I have done here is I have bisected the angle of 60 degrees. So you will get two angles each of magnitude 30 degrees like this. The next angle we are going to construct is an angle of 90 degrees. Draw any line you like, mark a point Q on it, keep your compass on the point Q and draw two arcs on either sides of the point Q to cut the line you drew. So it will look like this. Now I name the two arcs and the point of intersection as X and Y. Then draw two arcs from X and Y without changing the lengths like this. And I name the point of intersection of the two arcs as R. Join the point Q with the point R like this. Now you have received an angle of 90 degrees. The final angle we are going to learn about is how to construct an angle of 45 degrees. You know how to construct an angle of 90 degrees now. So construct an angle of 90 degrees and I have named it as x, y, z like this. Then keep the compass on y draw an arc like this. I name the points of intersection of the arcs and the two arms as M and N. Then draw an arc from M like this. Then take the compass to the point N. Draw an arc like this. Remember you can't change length of the compass or the size of the compass. Draw a line to join the point O and Y. Now I have bisected the angle of 90 degrees to receive two angles of magnitude 45. So here we have construct an angle of 45 degrees. Hope I made myself clear regarding locus of different points and then constructions related to angles as well as straight lines. Hope to see you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.